we want to allow the users of our template to choose which days are weekends in their company. So in this video, we will see how we can set it up so that the user can choose uh, any of the days or multiple days as weekends and then we will use them in the calculations later. So we are going to use the checkbox form control approach to do the weekend selections. This feature is not compatible with Excel Online. Excel Online is the online version of Excel where you can actually use your browser to actually interact with Excel and do everything, but there are some limitations. So it doesn't currently support checkboxes, uh, which we will look at now, but there is an alternative. So you could use the drop-down list technique, which I will share later, if you really want to use this template in Excel Online. So now let's get started. So in order to implement the checkbox, we need um, the developer ribbon. So if in case you don't have this up here, um, so go back to file and then go to options and then you will be able to see customize ribbon. And uh, for me right now, the developer is checked. In your case, it may not be there. So make sure that you check the box and then hit okay. And then the developer ribbon should appear for you. Now, once you have that, uh, we're going to use that to do our checkboxes. So before that, we will just type in day, and then I'm going to type in Sunday. And one thing Excel allows you is for common repeated or common consecutive lists or lists of uh, days, lists of months. So those lists are automatically stored in Excel. So we can easily just click it here and then drag it down to see all the days of the week. So this is how Excel is able to fill a series of information because it knows that they go together. And so now we're going to put a checkbox here. So I will go to developer ribbon, insert checkbox form control. And then I'm going to just click here and I'm going to just do this and then right click edit text because this text that's currently there, it's not something that we can easily format and make it look different. So I usually remove the text there because we are going to use the text that we already have here as the label. So we have the box here. So let's right click again, format control. So now that we have a checkbox, we need to connect this to some cell. So we're going to do cell link. I'm going to choose the cell where the checkbox is right now. That's F4. This is how we establish the link between the checkbox and a cell in our Excel file. So now I've done that. So now what happens is if you are in the edit mode, so you can see that when I'm here, you know, um, I'm in the edit mode and I cannot actually click on it or check the box. But if I click somewhere else, now I'm not in that edit mode for the checkbox. So now I, when I go close to it, the mouse cursor will change to indicate that I can click on it. And if I click, it says true. If I uncheck, it's false. So that is how we have established a connection uh, between the checkbox control and a cell value. So now if I do true, that means I've chosen Sunday to be um, a Sunday to be a weekend. So this would be weekend. So now we have this, I'm going to copy the cell and then I'm going to select all these cells and I'm going to paste it. So you can do control V for paste and it pastes everywhere. Um, we have all these checkboxes now, but the problem is when we paste it, if I go to my second checkbox and then look at what it is pointing to, it is still pointing to the Sunday or cell next to the Sunday, but I want this checkbox to be for Monday. So I will have to select F5. And then similarly for each of these, we have to select um, because there is no easy way to make them automatically choose the cells. So I'm going to manually do it because we only have a few days in a week. This approach would be fine. So now we have created the different checkboxes for each of the days and they're all true. So in my case, let's say 
only Saturday and Sunday are weekends. So I will just choose it this way. And one approach I would recommend is that if your checkboxes are already there, I don't need the true or false to be displayed to the user. But it is important that we have the value, but we can try to hide it. And so I like to just use a simple change the color of the text font to white. It's not visible. It doesn't appear to the user. So this is how we can now um, have set up a checkbox input control to let the user choose which days are weekends for their company.